Pennington and I work in the primary maths team at OUP. I'm going to talk you through what's included in the Numicon Number, Pattern and Calculating One teaching pack. If you're not familiar with Numicon, it's a maths programme that's based on the concrete pictorial abstract approach, encouraging children to use structured imagery and apparatus to help them understand and explain mathematical concepts to enable them to communicate mathematically. Inside you'll find information on how to get the most from the Numicon teaching materials, including planning and assessment support and how to use the physical resources for number, pattern and calculating one. You'll need the Numicon Starter Apparatus Pack A, which you can see here. Opportunities to use the resources are clearly signposted in the Have Ready sections in the activity groups, which we'll come to later. There are long and medium term planning charts for all the activity groups in the Teaching Resource Handbook. The teaching progression has been really carefully scaffolded so that children meet a new topic only once they've had enough experience of the mathematical learning that underpins it. There's a handy overview of all the activity groups which highlights the key mathematical ideas covered by each one. Followed by the 30 activity groups themselves, arranged by section or strand. So there's securing foundations. This section is designed to ensure that children have the mathematical knowledge, skills and understanding they will need for the other activity groups in Numicon 1. Then pattern and algebra, numbers and the number system and calculation. Let's take a look at an activity group. Each of the strands is colour coded and the information at the top of the page helps you easily identify the content of the activity group. Key mathematical ideas highlight the important concepts children will be meeting within the activity group. You'll also find an overview of its educational context, how it builds on children's prior learning, as well as learning opportunities. These come from real classroom experiences and assessment opportunities, there are also clear links to the Explore More Copy Masters and the Explorer Progress books. Activities are low threshold, high ceiling and allow for differentiation for every child in class within the same activity group. They're all supported by easy to follow instructions and clear illustrations. There are also photocopy master resources to accompany the activity group to the back of the book. Now moving on to the implementation guide. This is here to introduce what Numicon is and to support implementation in your school. It's full of practical advice, as well as answering some key questions about the most effective ways of using the resources, including how to plan and assess with Numicon. A section on the key mathematical ideas that we saw at the opening section of each activity group in the Teaching Resource Handbook that children will encounter during the year is an extremely useful reference tool for when you're beginning to teach from the activity groups. It includes detailed explanations about how Numicon develops these ideas. The final section of the implementation guide contains useful background details on the research that inspired Numicon and its pedagogy. So that's an overview of what you'll get with the Numicon number pattern and calculating one teaching pack. If you want to find out more, you can look inside the books on the website or get in touch with your OUP educational consultant to order the pack. See the details on the screen now.